it's Dr. Trish Lee with another neurofeedback Q&A. Today's question simply is, does neurofeedback work? Now, my initial answer to that is, what kind of question is that? And I get this question all the time, which is that why that is my answer. Would I dedicate my life and open a practice and invest my time, energy, and money into helping people find a therapeutic modality that doesn't work? No, the answer is I would not do that. Yes, neurofeedback works. There's tons of science to show that not only does it work, it's the future of healthcare. And I am so excited to be on the precipice of that future, seeing it for its potential, even though it has lots of science behind it, before others can see it. And anything great and awesome that has made its impact on our world was doubted at the beginning. And if you don't believe me, dig back through history. Edison, people thought he was nuts because he wanted to make a light bulb. Ford, people thought he was crazy because he wanted to make a car instead of horse and carriage. Uh, and there's lots more examples. Steve Jobs, people thought he was nuts with Apple products. And I didn't invent neurofeedback. People ask me all the time, did you invent this? Because of the passion that I speak about it with. But like I said, I'm totally psyched to be part of this profession. So yes, it works. And the science behind it is simple. And once you understand that many of the challenges that people deal with, like ADHD, anxiety, depression, any learning type of challenge, dyslexia, um, any brain injury that results in aphasia or motor problems, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, they're all neurological disorders. And the through line with all of them is that brain functioning has been impacted in a negative way. And that can be proven through science. And you can check out Lee Brain and Spine, my office's website, for the science behind um, all of these different types of disorders. But the idea is that if brain functioning has been negatively impacted, neurofeedback is proven to improve brain functioning. Not only that, there's studies that show neurofeedback helps to regenerate cells at the cellular level. So neurofeedback does two things. It improves the way that your brain is using energy, which then helps the neurons themselves to function better. That is hugely important in today's day and age where these types of neurological disorders, and yes, I just said they're neurological disorders, ADHD proven to be a neurological, neurodevelopmental challenge, Alzheimer's is neurodegenerative, as is Parkinson's or any motor challenge, tremors that people get when they're older. Psychological disorders have been proven to be psychological symptoms that manifest from neurological disorders. You can look it up, you can Google it, uh, if you don't believe me. So the idea is any neurologically based disorder can be improved by improving the way that the brain functions and neurofeedback is becoming the first line of defense to improve brain function. So yes, neurofeedback works. It's not just my idea. I'm the messenger. You can check out the science to see for your own eyes that it's proven by lots and lots of studies to be incredibly effective to improve the way the brain functions so your body and your mind function better too. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe below because it's my goal to answer all of your neurofeedback questions so you can control your brain so it doesn't control you. Thanks a lot.